Tonight, friends and family, remembering the 17-year-old Sacramento High student killed in what has been a deadly weekend in Sacramento. His is just one of three deadly shootings. A nine-year-old girl was also killed at a park in Del Paso Heights during a family gathering, and a gunman opened fire at a market in the Arden area before allegedly killing himself. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Steve Large. Ryan Hill is joining us now in Sacramento. A Sacramento, Sacramento police. Yeah, as Sacramento Police and the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office continue to investigate these shootings, tonight we're learning that one of those young victims was a Sacramento High School student. People attended a memorial in South Sac tonight in the Oak Park area specifically to remember a life gone too soon. A sad blue song filled the air as Heavy Heart stand in McClatchy Park on Sunday night to honor 17-year-old Jalen Betts' chart. He was taken from us way too soon. Uh, it's hard to come to reality of that. I denied it and denied it and then started hitting me. Friends and teachers at Sacramento High say the baseball and football player was shot and killed in one of a series of shootings in Sacramento this weekend. And when it happens to your family, when death knocks on your door, you understand what I'm saying? When it knocks on your door, are you ready? Because we're not. This pain is also hitting the family of Michaela Brent, a nine-year-old who was killed in a different Saturday shooting. Mayor Gerald Steinberg in a statement saying in part, quote, we're working with Sacramento police and our community leaders to step up our violence prevention efforts. One of those leaders who spoke into the mayor is brother to brother founder Mervyn Brookins. This community leader says right now supporting the families is the biggest thing. We're not going to make assumptions as to what happened or why it happened right now. Right now, what we want to do is help the family heal and help the community heal and get past this point. Too much pain and heartbreak. Now a search for hope and healing. There's deep seated um, wounds that need to be healed within our community. As a community it starts with us. And not with the government, not with the law. It starts with us as a community. The president and CEO of the Sierra Health Foundation says that he has also spoken with the mayor about these series of shootings. He tells me that his organization is working directly with the families to provide them with any immediate assistance that they may need during this time. All right, a painful weekend in Sacramento. Ryan Hill live in Sacramento tonight. By the way, the Twin Rivers Unified School District also sent a statement regarding Michaela Brent, who was a student in their district, reading, this senseless act of violence has affected all of us in Tw Twin Rivers Unified. And I know you join us in extending our deepest sympathy to the families. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers.